Okay, uh, right now, Mike is walking around the outside of the plane um, to make sure that all the lights are going, see the lights flashing, the taxi lights, landing light, um, the nav light, let's see, strobes, all of those to make sure they're all working. Um, you can see he extended the flaps there, that's the slanted part of the wing, it looks like it's extended down, um, and he has to check that um, they're connected the way they should be and they work, go up and down the way they should. And um, I kind of missed the part where he was inside turning stuff on and off to make sure it was working, checking the fuel um, and a couple other things. So after he does a quick walk around make sure the lights are going on, he goes in and turns the lights back off and the master switch off and then he um, he has to check all the external stuff, so not any of the inside stuff now. So now, um, he's going to drain some fuel, make sure the fuel's not contaminated, and put that back in, checks the tires, the struts, the wings, the tail, um, all the movable parts, so the, the elevator, the rudder, the ailerons, the flaps. Um, we have to check all of that stuff to make sure that's good. Oh, right now he's dumping the fuel back in, you can see. Um, so anyway, it's kind of a, a quick little lesson on what we have to do before we fly each time. Um, it takes usually um, probably about 15 minutes if, you, if you're used to it to do that, sometimes 20. It just depends if you have to add oil or fuel um, if it's low. So anyway, I'm going to turn it off again. Talk to you later. Bye.